Alright, today we're going to talk about lift chairs and how to sit in your lift chair and how to use your lift chair. You got a controller where it's up and down buttons. Very simple. You press down, it reclines back. You press up, it reclines forward, and eventually it will start lifting up. There's no flash diagnostics with uh, a lift chair. Um, your main problems with your lift chair are how people sit into it um, when they start getting the pops and all the little noises and stuff because it's how people sit into it. Instead of plopping from side like this, where you're bending the scissor mechanism, you want to get into the chair squared and easy. Down. Main problems with uh, lift chairs are your controllers. Um, with the Golden Technology controllers, they rebuilt this part right here because you were getting a lot of um, shorts in the controllers from it plopping on the ground. It gets stuck on the side right here and you pull in it up. It starts developing shorts in the controller, plus when it hits the ground so many times, it's going to loosen up um, the toggle switch inside and it's going to cause you to break that toggle switch and burn it up. Um, there's a hook on the side on most of them. I prefer to take a safety pin, a bigger safety pin, loop it into the side of the chair right here and loop it into the controller. So it's always on your side, it never hits the ground, you always have it right beside you. To the back side, for what it looks like. It's pretty easy. You have your brackets for your chair, you have your motor for your chair. Most times not this motor it's not going to be your problem, it's going to be in the controller or it's going to be your power uh, transformer which is over there and I have one we'll get to that in a second um, but that's what it looks like underneath there and these are your scissor mechanisms which if you're sitting in it wrong then these will bend a uh, good thing about them is they're lifetime warranty um, most times you would get the free shipping and the free uh, scissor mechanisms but you would have to pay for someone to replace these um, because it is uh, tedious work you have to take the whole chair apart to replace these and you usually want to replace both of them not just one this is a serial number um, your most serial numbers are back here um, with Golden Technologies they give you a booklet right here and with this book you want to have this in the chair all the time so you can write the date of purchase, your model, serial number, the name of the company um, an address and whatnot so all your information is always with the chair regardless if these tend to fade after time. Um, the transformer is right here. Um, you see you have a green light which means power is coming from the transformer. You have the green light on the DC power transformer that means power is coming from the outlet. Um, Another thing is, if this ever tends to start blinking or making a humming noise, two things, your transformer is getting uh, too much power from the outlet or not enough power from the outlet. Um, call your technician or call your, uh, your electrician about that to check outlets and probably would have to replace that because you ruined the transformer if that happens. Other than that, 
Um, it's pretty easy. Call your tech if you ever need anything. And uh, enjoy. That's it for this.